Hello friends, this video on hydrogen part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We have talked about uh, three isotopes of hydrogen, right? Let's talk about how can we prepare this hydrogen. So if you see hydrogen is a covalent molecule, it is diatomic, it always exists as H2 form, 1H here, 1H here and this is the shape here, two hydrogen molecules. Right, two hydrogen atoms form this hydrogen molecules that is called dihydrogen correct so there are various methods to prepare dihydrogen you can prepare from metal and water reaction you can prepare from metal and acid reaction not all the metal react with water but there are some metals which react with water to form hydrogen you can form with metal and alkali reactions also instead of acid if you want you can do the electrolysis of water also there are various ways but generally we have commercial ways and the lab ways to prepare hydrogen. So in lab generally we use zinc and uh, sulfuric acid. Uh, this one we use, where we use zinc and sulfuric acid in the lab to prepare hydrogen. In the commercial way we have a lot of process. We have Lane's process, we have Bosch process, we have electrolysis process, we prepare hydrogen from methanol. And if you see, as I told, right, hydrogen is commercially used widely, so we have different processes because we want maximum efficiency, right? So we have different processes. And if you see, 77% of the industrial hydrogen is produced from petrochemical, 18% from the coal, where we'll use this process, and 4% only from electrolysis. This is 4%, this is 77%. And these two are 18%. So we will discuss these uh, process in detail, all this process in detail. Just understand that hydrogen is prepared by all this process, right? So let's start uh, with an example. The question says why hydrogen exists as diatom rather than monoatomic under normal condition. The question is why hydrogen doesn't exist as H plus? why it always exists as S2 in the normal condition. So if you see hydrogen has one electron. To achieve stability it needs two electrons. That's why it's paired with another electron and have two electrons each. Covalent bond. Right? So it forms H2. Right? That's why if you see you take hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas the moment you react this becomes hydrogen gas and delta H is minus 435.8 kilojoule that is exothermic reaction it gives so much heat why because hydrogen gas they are unstable and they want to achieve stability right and this is stable because here if you see this each has two electrons each has one electron they are very unstable Correct. So now let's start with the preparation of dihydrogen from metal water reaction. Yeah. So not all the metals as I told, some active metals, if you add with water, sometimes you need heat, may require heat, it will give you H2 and hydroxides. Or oxide. We'll see. Let's take the active metal which doesn't require heat. For example, sodium, you add with water, you don't need any heat. It will burn. It will create NaOH plus H2. But if you take a little less reactive metal, the less active metal, for example, magnesium, you add with water, you have to heat this. You will get MgO here, it will oxide. And then you will get, right? So in this case, you got hydroxide, in this case, you got oxide. This is a very, very typical reaction we use in chemistry. Sodium with plus water, it gets NaOH plus hydrogen gas. Magnesium plus water, a little bit of heat, it gets hydrogen gas plus magnesium oxide. The next is uh, metal plus acid. So there are some metals which are uh, when you add with water it doesn't react that much right. So you need 
acid to create what uh, to create hydrogen gas so generally you have a metal here and then you react with acid sometimes you need heat sometimes you don't need you get hydrogen and here you have displacement reaction we will take some example for example iron you add hydrochloric acid you get if you see iron will uh, chlorine will come here and this becomes FeCl2 and hydrogen will be emitted right similarly zinc plus sulfuric acid the one which we we'll use in lab it gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen and here we use dilute acid here also we we'll use dilute acid Correct. The next one was the metal and alkali reaction. So here we have to take metal and strong alkali. It will give you hydrogen plus something. For example, you take metal aluminium and strong alkali I have is sodium hydroxide. And you put some water also here, make it little dilute. You heat this, you get NaAlO2 plus hydrogen gas. Also, if you take this guy plus same sodium hydroxide, you again heat this, you get Na2SeO3 plus H2. I'm not balancing it, you can balance if you want. Yeah. So you see metal and strong alkali will also give you hydrogen gas. So I can write strong alkali here. The next one as I told was the electrolysis. Electrolysis also we do. What we do here we have this water and water breaks itself into H2 and O2. We can break balance reaction. So if you pass electricity to this, if you uh, put some like external source, for example, battery or something, right, to this. So what will happen is at cathode, my hydrogen gas will come, in anode oxygen will come. It's a very uh, simple process of uh, creating dihydrogen, but it needs electricity that consumes power, right? So you can create this uh, dihydrogen using electrolysis. Just uh, Keep some water here. This is nothing but my normal water. And do the electrolysis. You'll find that hydrogen comes out at cathode. Correct. Easy one. Now let's see the lab preparation of dihydrogen. In lab, what we do is we add zinc. This is zinc. Okay, this is zinc and this is dilute H2SO4. The moment you add zinc plus dilute H2SO4, the reaction goes and you get zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas. The gas which you get, this, this has hydrogen gas actually, is collected like this. It's a very common method. We have this water here. And it is collected here. Hydrogen gas. It's a very uh, simple method using lab to prepare dihydrogen from sulfuric acid and zinc reaction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.